We have a little problem, amigo. Put your feet on. You didn't use your buff pass. You didn't use it today. They're recorded. Every time they're used, they're recorded. And your picture's taken. And you say, I didn't use it. The, the CTA says you didn't use it. CTA said you didn't use it. Last time you used it was the 22nd of September. Was that my right bus pass? It's the bus pass you had on you. The only you have. No, my girl got the seven of it too. That's what I'm saying. What one did you have on you? I have my bus card on me, some money. That's, they took it out of your pocket, so it had to be yours. Yeah. No matter who it was, it wasn't used. Everything they took out of my pocket, they threw on the floor in the house. So, I don't know. That my bus card was used today. My DS. Your girlfriend says you didn't get there until about 11 o'clock. Saying it, she's saying it. She also says she saw you with a 45. With a who? With a gun, a 45. A couple months back, and she told you that you put it up under the bed, and she never saw it again after you left. She ain't never seen me with no gun. We, we don't have to lie to you. She's nah, here. She's telling, telling us you. that. I'm not saying. I'm telling you. I don't even own a gun. Don't have a gun. Well, we're interested in is this kid. Where's the kid? Ah, uh, here we go with this. I don't know where he is. I don't. Last time I seen him was the last time I seen him on the phone with his mom. Playing on his little green machine. That's it. On the phone? I couldn't hear you. Last time you saw him was when? I said, last time I seen him was on the front with his mom on his green machine. What was that? Uh, probably a week or two weeks ago. That was the last time I seen him. Did you have a conversation? Are you two paying for a car? You and her? We was paying on a car. What kind of car was that? It was a uh, Chrysler LHS. Okay. She stopped making payments on the car for like six months. Where's the car now? Do we have a clue? Was the last it was time? stolen off the block of uh, selling up the yield. Was it stolen because you were six months behind? I don't mean you stole it. No, 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 no. I came from work, bam, and the car was sitting on the block. We called the police, made a little police report. They never found the car. You made a report? Yeah. Whose name's on the report, yours or hers? Both of us. <clears throat> Did you have a discussion with her this morning about the payments for the car or something like that? She called me and told me Overland Bond said something about they're going to start taking money out of the check. They already uncalled my job a long time ago and told me the same thing. Can I ask you a real stupid question? When you bought the car, did you buy insurance? Yeah, I have uh, insurance on that car. Did you have theft insurance? Okay, insurance. Or did you, what year is this LA show? Uh, 96 or 97, something. What'd you pay for it? About? It was running like almost 13 grand. Okay. Let me try and explain this to you the way I'm no expert on this, but when you buy a house or if you buy a car, you have to have insurance on it because uh -huh. if my car was stolen and I'm making payments, I ain't going to make them anymore, okay? Because I'm not driving it and it's gone. No, that's what the insurance company told us. Let me catch you. Pain right here in the stomach. Why for what? It being cold. I right here. Mark up in here. Open up your jacket. Take it off for me. Why would you get a pain for being cold? My muscles tighten up on me. Right here. It's getting harder and harder. Move around a little. Pull up your sleeves. Where, did she, where were you at when she called you? About the Overland Lodge. Whatever the conversation was this morning about the car payments. Oh, uh, I think I was 
just coming around. Just getting there? No, I'm just coming around from the gas station to it. Well, why wouldn't she mention that to you when you were talking this morning? Who? You and her in the house. About the Overland Bond? She told me that when she got to work. She talking about they just sent me a new paper and all of this, and I'm like. My point is, wouldn't she? Where, where did the paper come to? Her work? I guess so, because she didn't tell me when we was at the crib. Uh, Mama crib. How'd you get that scratch on your head? The one that's a mold now. Pardon me? The one that's a mold now. Well, that's, a, that's a mold up there? Yeah, it's a mold now. Oh, okay. It looks like a scan, sorry. So what time did she call you? Uh, I don't know, probably like 18 or something. Like Eight what? Probably like 18 or something like that, I'm not sure. You told me you were in her house at 8.15. She said she was running late. Yeah. Exactly. I just said I'm not sure. What okay, she according called. to your cell phone, she called you at about 9 o'clock. And you were still in the neighborhood over there. On my cell phone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know the towers that show where your cell phone is? I, I want to see that. I, I would like to really see that. She called me at 9 o'clock. I'm not lying about it. I got the papers. No, I'm saying you say she, what she called me from, her number? Yeah, she called you from her number to tell you about the mm -hmm. garnishing of the check. She called me private. Today is Friday. Huh? Today is Friday. I say she called me private. Private. She called me private this morning. But it's on your phone records. No, you say she used her no. I am gonna argue with you. You were then you were by in that neighborhood because it went off a cell tower by that neighborhood, your phone was pinned in that area. With the cell tower over there near 70th Street. And you said it was at 8, 15? It was about 9 o'clock, yeah. Oh, it was about 9 o'clock? Did you ever have your car parked on Wentworth today? Uh, no, I wouldn't say I had it parked on Wentworth. Well, Wentworth is a street. And you're either on it or you're not. No, no. Did you ever get out of the car after you parked it on Wentworth and walk back towards the house? Where she lives? No. Mm -mm. Did you ever, did you, after, no matter what time you left her house this morning, did you ever leave with anything in your hands? When I left her house? Like a box or something like that, or a crate? No. No. Hell yeah, no. I left her Were you parked on Wentworth or not? No. You never were parked on Wentworth? No, my job was called. Well, it hasn't been that long. I know. We're not like asking you about a year ago, you know. No, I'm not. Hell no. Here's the main concern right now is about your stepson. I know. That's not my main concern. That is the concern. Oh. You should be slightly concerned about yourself because we've already caught you in about six or seven lives. Told me about six or seven lives. Mm -hmm. About what? Well, what we told you before. Yeah. Does she have any reason to lie? It's... That's your girl who got off the spot with. Oh. Your phone records also indicate that you were calling her when you said you were at her house. You said my phone records. Mm-hmm, we have them all. Yeah, you just said I was talking. You called her, her. yeah, you, you called, called her, her about 10 minutes to 11. About 10 to 11, you're calling her. So why would you call her if you were at the house? From 10 o'clock on. Why would you call her? You don't know, we don't know either. I need to see these records. Listen, 
We're not making it up. No, I'm just saying because I'm not recalling this what you're talking about. Well, here, if I was at home with my wife and she was in another room, why in the name of fucking God would I call her on the phone? That is strange, isn't it? That's fucking retarded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that shows that you were outside of her house when you had 10 minutes to love her. When you said you were there. And you can argue with the CTA about whether or not you used your bus pass, but they make records of everything. I know I used my car today. Well, you sure as fuck didn't use it when you said you used it. You said what? Just what I said, you didn't use it at 69th Street, and you didn't use it since September 22nd, according to them, okay? I'm not Mr. CTA, so, but that's why they do, they track everything. What was the 22nd? About, uh, that was a month ago, like almost. The 22nd of September, October. The last time you used that card was the 22nd of September. That's a month ago. I don't care if you used it 50 times yesterday. We're not dealing with yesterday. No, I'm We're just dealing saying with today. It shouldn't even be working a seven day. Gotta help yourself. Nobody can help you but you. Your former wife, or your current wife, whatever she is, says that they suspect you of taking Jason's 45 automatic out of the house. Enjoy. Enjoy. Well, hey, how would I know that? You think I'm making it up? And another, and another oh, yeah, relative yeah, saw you in that. And another relative saw you with it. That's what they're saying. You said another her relative saw me with it? Man. No, actually a friend of a relative. <laughs> That's what they're saying. Yeah. You know, like I said, you're the only one who can help yourself. I wasn't at their house. If they fucking attacked you, if the, if the guy in the bed had the gun originally, I don't know. But we'd like to know where that boy is. You know, you act like this has been on my mind since I even heard about what happened today. 
First of all, you lied to those officers. Lied to what officers? Because you didn't know. You didn't know that they were. Never mind. When did you find out that the, they, those people were dead? Uh, shh. Whoever called me first. Who called you? Uh, Brittany. Who's Brittany? The girl you still across the street. Then I called her mom. She worked at Popeyes. Uh, and she told me that her sister sent the police out there. Did you call Julia? Yeah, I called Julia's name. Or did she call you? No, I had to call her. And what did Julia say to you? I told you she told me that somebody killed her mom and her brother. When she didn't say somebody, she said they like she knew who the hell it was. 